Hey, good morning. It is uh, June 11th, so technically nine more days after this, uh, if I can keep the 20 by 25 mile average. Uh, we're starting off, uh, I think it's called Donegal Road. Uh, and we are, I believe, in the Holy Hill segment, so got a chance to see it but I just couldn't get a great picture last night it's just a beautiful beautiful church on a huge hill here in the Kettle Moraines hopefully I can get a better chance to get a good photograph and maybe even a video or two of it Good morning, Sunday, uh, June 12th. I stayed uh, here last night, actually. Look at that. That's a that's a hot tub room. 
and a pool and then the campground is kind of set back behind it uh, yeah a little bit better than I thought so when I looked at this campsite the mileage was right for me so 28 29 miles yesterday and uh, they had a designated camping area or I'm sorry dispersed camping area up the way it's just a tad probably another maybe mile and a half to two miles but uh, there was no reviews on this campground so I didn't see get any public reviews on our out so I thought why not anyways uh, got here about 8 30 a little late but he was I called in advance and told him that'd be coming at about that time and uh, he said it was fine so anyways he, when I got to his uh, office which is his uh, I think it's his home he uh, let me in for free and said go get set up and why don't you jump yourself into the hot tub which is pretty much exactly what I did so it was actually pretty awesome and uh, anyway so about quarter to six I'm heading out it's about a mile off trail but uh, man <laughs> you to take a hot tub uh, you can't you can't pass that up so and then uh, also they had frozen pizzas and like a little bar game room too so I had that last night ate the entire thing anyways let's go time to get started on it's Sunday and I'm gonna be done next Sunday so got uh, eight days including today and I will be finished That's where I stayed. Nice place. Hiker friend. And so again, Sunday, June 12th. So we're uh, back to where we dropped, where we stopped last night and then walked to a campground. So we start here, uh, Wildwood uh, parking lot here, right by the Kewaskum segment. Uh, right over there. Yeah, yeah. And it's got about a little over 27 miles today. Uh, it's a little before uh, 6.30. So uh, it's going to be a day of my own choosing. I get to hike my own pace. I don't need to be anywhere at any particular time. So uh, I'm hiking to the Parnell Shelter, number four, right in the uh, northern unit of the Kettle Moraine. And uh, I have the whole shelter to myself, so, uh, which is kind of silly, to be perfectly honest. They should allow all my people to, to actually camp there, but that's the one th negative thing about Cal Moraine. It doesn't seem to be very through-hiker friendly. Uh, I had to set up like 12 miles outside of Delafield because there was no places to camp. The shelter was reserved. And uh, don't even know how many people were there, but I know there was multiple campsites there for people uh, if they would just allow that to happen. For example, the Appalachian Trail, I don't even think you reserve the shelters. They're just utilized by everybody, all the long distance hikers. And maybe they should consider doing that here as well to make it a little bit more through hiker friendly, unless uh, they provide more dispersed camping areas for multi-day backpackers like us. Anyways, weather's going to be okay today. A little chilly this morning, but not bad at all. Uh, and uh, no rain, so it's going to be a perfect hiking day. I think it's supposed to be overcast. And then uh, tomorrow possibly chance of rain, but then I have a really good solid stretch of just apparent good weather. Warm, I think after tomorrow, 90 plus degrees, but I'd rather have that than being rained on. So I got about a two mile walk on this road section, and then we're back on trail for the day. Should be a nice day.
Alright, so just got done uh, approaching Highway 45 in Key Walscom. And, uh, excuse me. Uh, the corner of my eye. I've seen this, this right here. Yep, McDonald's. So I'm taking a slight detour. I'm gonna grab myself some Mickey D's. Yes. Anyways, the bridge underneath the uh, Highway 45 was probably about five, six inches deep. And I'm gonna walk over the top anyway, so. Jeez, I can't, look at this. I'm gonna walk like a wait around just to get to it. I don't care, it's gonna be worth it. Right back on trail, just left Key Wascom and the McDonald's, which was awesome. It looks like it was 22 miles left of this hike today and just a great day for a nice pace, relaxing pace. Uh, here uh, in the, uh, I think I'm in the North Kettle Moraine unit now. So it should be an awesome day with no rain in the forecast. And uh, it's a beautiful scenery.
June 13th. I uh, got up about an hour ago, started hiking north here on the uh, kind of moraine Parnell segment. Uh, I got uh, about an hour in. Uh, stayed at the Parnell number four shelter last night. It's supposed to be a pretty easy 27 mile day yesterday with no time restrictions, but I really ran out of steam uh, somewhere around about 6 six thirty, and uh, couldn't even muster up enough energy to go climb Parnell Tower, which was only like a mile away from my location. So a little disappointed in that, but needed the rest. Uh, these segments up here, Parnell, does need a little trail maintenance, and uh, and they're difficult because they're very rooty and rotty, rocky. And so when you get up and down these hills, you really got to be careful and watch your, your step. Otherwise, you're going to twist an ankle or something like that. Uh, so I got uh, about 23 miles today if I can make it to my destination. It's supposed to rain sometime around noon, maybe a little bit after. There's an approaching storm coming. That doesn't look too terrible, but probably is going to carry quite a bit of water. And... Uh, so I'm going to kind of keep an eye open for some shelters and things like that. But today, 23 miles, and then tomorrow I'll be hiking into Manitowoc on Tuesday. And from there, five more days, and I'll be reaching the eastern terminus. So as of right now, it looks like it's going to be right around uh, June 19th. So that's 10 days earlier than my original goal of 60 days. So, extremely pleased about that. We'll see. I have just walked out of the Kettle Marines. All right, Glen Bula. I'm take a quick break here and walk into town, grab a couple things, and keep walking for a little bit, maybe to Elkhart Lake to get uh, find shelter before the storm hits. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> 